Hey everyone, welcome to the Horny King channel, and in this video I'll be removing a massive German yellow jacket colony out of an 1800s house attic closet wall. I had to cut through three different layers of wall material to get this nest out. The second I cut into it, I realized that this nest was super active, and of the two different German yellow jacket species that I deal with, this was the more aggressive one, go figure. So I vacuumed everything up, pulled the nest out, and bagged it up for the client. Here's the video, check it out. Now these are German yellow jackets, which are typically the more docile species that I deal with here in PA, but there's actually two subcategories of German yellow jacket, Vespula germanica, and this one is actually the more aggressive of the two. So typically when I open up a German yellow jacket colony, they kind of float out, mosey around, they attack a little bit, but not nearly as aggressive as some of the other species. But this one, on the other hand, they were clinging all over me, they were attached to all over my suit, plus they were flying around the room, they were swarming and then they were trying to go out the window that was right there to my right. So knowing that this nest was actually bigger inside this cavity, I had to spend some time trying to break open the hole a little bit more. And you can see there's actually three different types of wallboard here. There's a drywall on the outside with wallpaper on it. Then there's paneling. And then there's old like plasterboard behind that. And then the cavity space of the wall. So trying to break apart these different wall structures to get a better idea as to how big this nest actually is. So I just wanted to make sure that this is stopping here. I could tell that there was queen comb right there on the left hand side, but I wasn't sure how many layers of queen comb there were. So as you can see, there's like three different layers of queen comb. So that's the bottom of the nest there. And it does go a little higher into the wall cavity as well. And oftentimes at the bottom of these nests, that's where a lot of the males and the queens will hunker down. And you'll see when I start pulling the comb out, you can see that it's just covered in new queens. There were lots of queens that had already hatched from this colony. and the first queen comb coming out. So the idea here is population control. And as you can see, since a lot of them made their way into the living space, I decided to just kind of take a little bit of time to vacuum some of them off the window to try to mitigate the amount that had already made their way into the living space. So just go around to the window and up to the ceiling and just try to pull as many of them out as I can. So sticking your fingers in between the layers of comb is a pretty unnerving task because you don't know how many are in there and you don't know that you're going to have full protection from the gloves. So doing that is always a little bit tricky. But grabbing it out of here is very, very satisfying. Look at all those layers. There's a lot of queens on this comb. And people often get confused. Are they new queens or are they the original queen? From what I can see there, I didn't see the original queen. You can tell her, even though the queens look very similar, especially just at a glance. But the founding queen is a lot more robust. She is a little bit darker in colors. And the newer queens will fly. The founding queen won't really try to fly away. She'll just try to crawl between the layers of comb. So 
So this is a very productive nest. They had quite a... So this is a very productive nest. There was probably close to 2,500 adults inside this colony at peak season. So I'm trying to get my fingers up into between the comb layers here, but I couldn't really see where I was going. And since the comb was so tight between those two studs, I just took the vacuum and just like pierced the hole on that left hand side. So that way I'd have an area to get my fingers up in behind there. Look at the mass of that comb coming out of there. And it's just covered in yellow jackets. Lots of queens, lots of males, and lots of workers. Nice heavy nest too. There was a lot of larvae in here, which added to the weight of this nest. So the majority of the comb has gotten out of here. I just have a little bit more to go. But you can see they had actually chewed through some of the outside wall as well once I started vacuuming up some of that envelope. A lot of yellow jackets inside this space and you could kind of notice that they were following the light so like ones that weren't getting vacuumed up they were actually followed the vacuum around because of the light at my camera Cleanup is always my favorite part of the job because it's very satisfying to see that there's a lot of yellow jackets in the space and then you start backing up and then they all just disappear. <laughs> so all the nest bagged up. And this is the whole nest. Some in the folds that you can't really see, but that's a lot of yellow jacket nest. So I ended up double bagging this nest. Anytime that I'm doing several removals in a day, I make sure that I double bag because German yellow jackets especially will try to chew through the plastic. Last year I used to use a lot of Rubbermaid bins, but I didn't really use them this year because they do take up a lot of space in my car. So if I just bag a nest, it's a lot easier to go Good from place nest. to place with a few bags. And then when I get home, I just cut them open and give them to the animals. So I just vacuum out the last few that are up inside the cavity space and just try to get as many of the numbers out as I can. Even though I am going to be spraying up inside of here just to try to kill off the last few. So this is just regular wasp and hornet spray that I'm just spraying inside the space just mainly as a, a just to be proactive. And then I go around with spider and scorpion spray and just kind of fill in the space a little bit more. Then I temporarily duct tape the hole shut. It is the homeowner's responsibility to take care of the hole. I put the bag nest in my fridge overnight. All right, let's get some nests out of the fridge. Uh, 
Ugh. If everybody's cooled down. Ugh. All right, birdies. Scissors do it down here. You get a snoot of it. Hey, good birdies. <laughs> Alright, enjoy your feast, birdies. Alright everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to check out this video. If you guys enjoyed this content, drop in the comments, let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions for future videos or something you'd like to see me cover in an upcoming video, also drop in the comments, let me know. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so and hit that bell notification. That way you guys get an update anytime I do post a video. Alright everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to check out this video and supporting my channel. And I'll catch you on the next video.